everybody, my name is Janae Toy, and this is my channel where I talk about whatever I want. Today I'm going to be reviewing the MSR Pocket Rocket. I got it out of the pack, just special. Yeah, I'm going to be reviewing how it cooks basically a mini English breakfast. It's not a full English, it's a mini English, you know. I just did some basic stuff that I wanted for breakfast basically. So I'm going to be cooking sausage, eggs and tomatoes just to see how it fares. So this should be a fun little experiment and I'll be outside in the garden. So see you in a moment YouTube. Okay everyone, so I have got my new pan that my dad got me. I've got some tomatoes, got an egg and I got a sausage. So, first thing I'm going to do is just pierce the sausage, like so, and then, yeah, just cut up the tomatoes in half, because we need to be healthy around here, you know, putting on them quarantine pounds. So, yeah, like, I'm really enjoying just using all this new gear. It is so much fun, you know. So hopefully that will all fit in the pan. Yes, uh, very nice. And then I can just do the egg separately. I'm thinking. I mean that fits in quite nicely, you know. So yeah, I'll see you in the next shot. All right. So just getting the MSR pocket rocket out of its adorable little case let's put that there so first thing to do is put the latch down then just open up the feet like this voila then we just screw it on top here see there we go now that's secure that can just sit there and it's ready to light. Alright, so just going to put a tiny little drizzle of oil in the pan. There we go. It's plenty. Now, that should be enough to cook. Alright, so first thing you do is ignore the sirens. There we go. So now, you can hear that slight hiss, it's on, got the fire lighter, and boom. Whoa. There we go, now we just leave it to cook. That's a nice hiss, that is. It seems like it does need a bit of a wind guard because the wind over here, you know, it, it tends to be annoying. So I think I might need something to protect the flame underneath, which is a beautiful blue, but you can't really see it very well. There we go, just flipped it up, well, flipped the tomatoes up and turned the heat up a bit, just to keep it sizzling. And we turn the sausage over, beautifully cooked both sides, a little bit burnt, but, you know, only on the outside, and it isn't terribly done, so, so it should be fine. I think I burnt the sausage a bit. Should be fine though. It's only on the outside. Inside will hopefully be done all right. All right. So, time to take tomatoes and the sausage out, if I can get them out, and put the egg in. Hopefully everything goes flat unlike what's been happening as of recently. 
We love it when things go wrong. Managed to get that one easily. I should have just brought the tongs out. Now, time for the egg. See if I can do this one handed. Yep. Did it. Nailed it. Oh, no. Unnailed it. Yeah. Nailed it again. Yes. Now, egg, I'm used to cooking on here. Sausage and tomatoes, I'm not so used to. But egg, I know that I can turn this up. And not burn it. See, I'm new to cooking sausages and tomatoes and basically anything that's not egg on this so I don't really know the limits of what I can do with sausage and tomatoes and anything that's not egg but I've cooked egg on here before and I know, you know, what I can do to make sure it doesn't burn which is always useful so, yeah talk to you when this is done shouldn't be long egg's kinda dead but it's still edible, well, unless you're vegan. In which case, drop me some recipes below, because usually, well, I don't know if anyone who's vegan has ever gone on like a long distance hike, but if you have, drop me some recipes below. Because usually when you limit the amount of food someone can eat, it expands what they want to eat. But yeah, this looks about done, so... How about... How about that? How about we just turn that off? Leave that to cool down, and come on. There we go. Now that, that is a breakfast cooked on the MSR pocket rocket. Now it's turned off. So yeah, looks good. Okay, so we're going to ignore the plane going overhead. You know what? That's actually not bad. Sausage is cooked in the middle. See? So, yeah. Tastes good. Tastes like normal sausage. And the egg. Egg tastes like egg. Who knew? But yeah, first time like properly cooking a meal on the MSR Pocket Rocket. This is a true like proper blind reaction because the only thing I've ever cooked on it is egg. And the egg turned out better the last time. But I'm quite enjoying this. It's just fun to cook on these things. You know, just fun to cook. Boink. So yeah, have a good day YouTube, bye! Okay, so, final thoughts about the MSR Pocket Rocket. So, pros, it cooks food. I love food, I love cooking food. It's great, you know? It has a really, it fits on to the gas cans really well. Got a simple little common can there. Other positives, it, well, it cooks food. <laughs> that is the main important thing here. It cooks my food. But yeah, um, other positives, it cooks it really evenly. I don't know if it's the pan, because my dad got me a new pan. I am so happy that my dad got me a pan. The temperature control is really easy to use, you know. In my experience, it hasn't gotten really very hot, but I don't tend to use it for long because I tend to cook quick, easy meals on the Pocket Rocket. But yeah, it's really great for what it does, you know. Cons, because everything has pros and cons. Um, it could really do with a wind guard. That is one thing I think it does need, is a wind guard. Because it kept... Um, I was 
really worried it was going to blow out or you know so a wind guard would probably do really well with this um other cons i don't know i mean i think that's the main one that i picked up from this but yeah for what it is it's a really simple really good little bit of kit you know and it does what it says on the tin and i think that it's just a great you know a great addition to my little arsenal of stuff i'm gonna bring <laughs> so yeah so i hope you all have a good day youtube and i'll see you i'll see you in the next video see you tomorrow bye